What is up, bro? It's me, Josh here, and in today's video, I'm gonna go over a crazy game I had in the Neptune. This ship is, this lion is slowly becoming one of my favorite lions. I have a really, really fun time playing this. The Fiji at tier seven, the Leander at tier six was all right. Fiji at tier seven, uh, the Edinburgh at tier eight, and now the Neptune at tier nine, and I, the Minotaur at tier 10 is gonna be amazing as well. I played on the test server and when the lion was first coming out, I got to play it a little bit early. But the Neptune, the tier nine is what I'm at currently. And it took me a little while to get used to this place out in the higher tiers, but I think I've got it down now. And this is probably one of the lines that it's either the most hated or most loved lines, depending on who you ask. Either people love the play style of these or they hate the play style of these. And it's very sit and smoke, don't get shot, because if you get shot, you are just going to get basically popped like a pimple. But these things have insane heals, and I think you'll even get to see it in this video as well. How I have the Neptune set up is as anti-A. As you can see, my A rating's over 100. So anything that flies within, what is it, 7.2, it basically gets destroyed. So midway planes, hat planes, Taiho planes, anything that flies over me just gets absolutely obliterated. And I'll show you my captain skills as well. So uh, for my loadout right now, I have main armament one. This helps with torpedoes as well as guns. I have a gun, so it gives me a little bit extra firing range. Um, more AA guns, so more damage. Lower chance of fire. Now you could pick up propulsion or something like that. Um, but I just like the lower chance of fire and flood. Uh, steering gears, definitely going to take that. And stealth. So you can get this down relatively stealthy with a 15 point captain as well. I get down to about 10.1. So it definitely helps, um, especially because you don't want to be spotted ever because it's pretty crazy. So I have seen more and more people take radar over smoke, and I think they're freaking crazy because these things just get absolutely obliterated. So the heels are massive on this thing, and it's a blast. Uh, it's it's awesome to to absolutely annihilate one of these things. Like if you catch them broadside, usually they're broadside in their smoke. You catch them, and I think one of my past videos when I was playing my Des Moines, I think I get like eight or nine citadels into one, and it just absolutely got destroyed. And it's it's a high risk, high reward style play. So survivability wise, it's sitting on almost forty five thousand, which is pretty nice. Torpedo at sixteen percent. Um, the main bat. These things have a decent little arc on them, so they're a little hard, but they shoot fast and they can fire at 16.5 so not a bad pickup like i said you could probably um pick up maybe a little bit extra range i just don't think you'll need it um and you could maybe drop a little bit extra firing range i think any of these three i just went for a pure aa loadout so for my captain i went basic firing training i actually went with a torpedo armament and i think it's pretty fun because if you've never played the royal navy cruisers you can actually shoot single torps instead of like full or the widespread or narrow spread you either get a normal spread or you get single torps so i've been having a lot of fun with the single torps and you'll see it in this gameplay as well superintendent for the extra smoke i went with manual a over aft playing around with that and i'm kind of liking it um it's only a little tough when you are trying when there's a lot going on and you have to click on stuff that's the only downside so you have to be kind of aware of everything that's going on and consume an expert so this is my loadout right now of course this is going to change at 6.0 but this is what i'm running right now so let's dive into the game um a really really fun game massive damage and was a lot of fun to play so we got into this game right here and my division was a missouri um, which is definitely nice with having the radar a neptune and a rune so double cruiser double uh battleship we we're hoping for some cvs i wanted to test out the AA. we got didn't get very lucky um and the first thing i always do when i look at games guys is look at the comp of the team so one of the thing i saw was they definitely had us beat in destroyers we had a tier nine and two tier sevens they had a tier nine and two tier eight so they definitely had us because of this division and if you can see on the map both uh the division spawned over by c cap with with the DDs, and then they spawned, the other DD is going towards B. So we spawned on A, which kind of stunk for us, but we did have a radar, and so we could potentially push on A cap. A cap, I think, is a good one. I think C is kind of the worst cap on this map. It's kind of like D cap on North, if you've ever played that, because of um it's just so isolated uh usually you fight over a and b on this map that's kind of what we go so we were saying hey let's go for it maybe we'll get lucky um if you see to the the frederick de gross is with the benson so maybe that's one dd we wouldn't have to worry about so that's something we we're kind of thinking of but we were like hey let's just push in let's see what we can do we have radar so potentially we can pop a dd really quick and get that advantage um yeah we were we were really hoping our fletcher went b cap but he didn't so it was kind of us and so we we're just going hey let's just go for it and kind of hope for the best um but just as we didn't want the uh, dd started capping a so this was kind of a bummer 
Um, as you can see, my division mate in, uh, is, this is so yellow. It totally was. It totally was. I instantly popped uh, my smoke and I popped sonar. And this is when the badness happened for our Missouri. He got what's called, like, I don't know, the drift, whatever you want to call it, when your ship just doesn't slow down as much as you want. And one thing, too, I noticed, I was like, well, maybe it was the Ibuki that was in. But it definitely wasn't because every time I hit him, it didn't reset the cap. So we knew there was a DD there. So uh, basically just focus on putting uh, some damage in this Ibuki. He's the only guy we can really have uh, aim on. And as you can see, so she turns broadside and there's the Luoyang. So we need to, need to definitely get uh, damage on this destroyer. I think he just popped radar as well. Um, so they have two DDs here, and was really hoping that we can get them. So monster shot. I mean, these Royal Navy cruisers uh, just absolutely destroy destroyers. So four or five K salvos on the broadside, and this is when he. Got <laughs> I destroyed the DD. Our battleship slowly went forward and just got absolutely obliterated. Um, but we're putting some massive damage. We took down one DD. We see the other DD here. And the Ibuki's also taking some extra damage. We got him with another Citadel. And it was just a brutal time for our uh, for our uh, Missouri. So he went down. But we now have a kind of a general idea of where the other DDs are. So that's really good for us. And I'm still in my smoke. So I can kind of just sit here. But there are a massive amount of ships here. And that's the one thing I was kind of nervous about. So I'm always looking for what has radar, what has sonar, what has whatever. And I knew that I wasn't going to take any torps. So, and their other destroyer was kind of rolling down south. So basically, I can just farm. I'm already up to, I'm already up to 54k, um, and we have multiple battleships to kind of farm. The Bismarck in front of us is going to be their main target. They can't see me, so I'm just still going to rip five, six k salvos and not really worry about too much. So um, we're doing really well too. We lost to Missouri, which sucks. He's top, he was our top tier battleship, but we killed one of their destroyers, which is really, really good, and a Chappie, which is the radar. So we got them out. But I got really, really worried here um, because I was getting spotted and didn't really have an ability to turn. And so I just kind of slowly kept backing up and thought maybe I can make this turn and started going for it. So um, still just putting some damage into this battleship. And I was hoping the Ibuki would get aggressive here and push up, which I thought he would. And, um, but still just trying to pump damage. I thought I was going to get obliterated here by the, by the DeGross. And here is when I started using the single torps. Now, I love the single torps. I put them on the Frederick and was hoping that the Ibuki would just die. But I think he ends up turning out. And, uh, we're just kind of pushing around right now. Um, really just sending the single torps. I, I'm doing this more and more. I remember I was a, a massive, uh, um, single torps are stupid guy at the start of the single torp stuff. But, uh. Um, I'm falling really in love because you can do some really unexpected things with them, uh, mainly unexpected arcs with them and torpedo groupings with them that can really throw off a lot of ships. So we're doing pretty good um, right now. I think I take one of these torps, but I'm really hoping I don't take too many broadside. The Royal Navy cruisers, they get going really slowly and they get um, they get they slow down really slow and they get going really slow. So one of the massive things. So we snag one torp on that guy we're already up to 87k and counting i think that flooding six for a little bit 88k 89k yeah it's going up a little bit um putting some shots on the kudas off he's trying to stay broadside so i'm gonna put as much damage in as possible and punish him for being broadside um and we're up four ships to two right now and their majority of their team is over there so me though i have a fast frying ship i'm just trying to put out as much damage already over 100k less than five minutes into the game so this game was pretty freaking awesome um, there was just, I was just into the, you know, you can be super stealthy with this ship and you can really, if you're in the right spot and the right situation and you're keeping yourself safe, you can really have a lot of success with this ship. So, um, I knew this Tirpitz, I played rank with him, so I knew he was a pretty solid player. So I threw out a bunch of single torps and I saw this Benson. And so we definitely want to kill this Benson because if we do that, then we're doing really well. We only have one DD left. So I put out a random shot. And um, I was like, well, maybe we'll get him, maybe we won't. I even hit my own battleship a little bit, and okay, we did get him. There you go. So we took out another battleship. I mean, the damage you can do against destroyers and these Royal Navy cruisers are just insane. It's disgustingly good, and oh, we're already up to 130. And we luckily, because as you can see, there's two sets of torps right there. 
there's the there's the front set and the back set so he avoided the first set but didn't see that second set so we put three torps into him which is like 40 some k 30k it was like, I think it was like right around almost 40k, so monster damage because he avoided the first set but didn't avoid the second set. Now, if he would have only um, avoided, uh, now if I would have done like a normal Torps red, he would have only taken like a couple Torps. But since he did that, he took three Torps, so that was that was because of the single Torp. So, right there, we're up to uh, already 179,000, trying to go for that crack in three kills right now. I mean... High caliber, confederate, all kinds of just, you know, we're getting all basically everything right now. Um, and we're doing really good. We're, we have way up on kills, um, way up on damage, and we're just continuing to freaking farm right now. So, um, it's really hard to push with this ship because it's so fragile. If you ever get in a situation where you can kind of sit and, especially behind an island, I mean, you have your smokes, so definitely use those. But if you have the ability to hide behind like an island that will cover you, it's really, really nice. Or even use somebody else's smoke. You just gotta be careful because of torps. So um, this is the play style of a lot of Royal Navy cruisers right here, though, is you sit there and you sit in smoke and you don't really move. So you have to be super aware of one, where the torpedoes are and where destroyers are. Two, what has radar, what has sonar. And three, um, like, you know, kind of what is going to be around you and potentially pushing you. Because if you do get spotted, what's the weakness of the Royal Navy cruiser line? Being spotted and, and just getting freaking wrecked. You can you can absolutely get wrecked in one salvo. Um, if you've ever played any, like, high tier stuff, you can absolutely obliterate them in one salvo. They'll just get wrecked because they're so freaking fragile. Now, they can repair a lot of it, but they definitely... Are gonna get smashed and if you ever take like flooding or something like that you can replay almost everything it's, it's pretty amazing um so right now i was really hoping because it's you know only two ships left i was hoping to get 200k and we just got it so it's pretty cool it was our uh, it was our first time ever getting 200k with this with the um the neptune i think it was like our seventh or eighth game so pretty cool we're in the 200k cub uh for this ship and i mean it just shows in the right situation how strong these ships can be um and i think <laughs> i think right now i was even like yeah, let me get the crack and i was telling i was talking to vector galaxy saying give me the freaking kraken but he was uh wouldn't the battleship on that one ended up killing him so a little bit extra farm here um the norcal is gonna be going broadside and stuff so we can just i think we get up to gosh i don't know we're over almost 300 hits two base defense four torpedo hits four floods a citadel four kills and it's insane how much you know especially if cvs are in how much you just like a no fly zone it's absolutely amazing but um still just sitting here i felt like i'd be a little aggressive here and was hoping to maybe uh write a meme on him and maybe do some uh single torps uh but he ended up i think turning to their side or something like that but um, but yeah, as you can see, is like you kind of get a, a weird, unique spread that it's really hard, and you end up getting like a lot of like two kind of groups, two separate groups, and it's really, really hard to anticipate where those are going to be. So, uh, 206k. I mean, the the damage, as long as things are not going completely like dead on. Yeah, I mean, you can still rip up some damage. Like, I mean, this guy's going front on. And he's just going to, like, ricochet. As you can see, I had seven ricochets out of that. Um, it's hard to get too much damage, but you just shoot so fast, you can slowly, slowly get that damage out. So, um, there it is. And I was going to, I was probably going to get this guy in one or two citadels, or one or two uh, salvos there, but he ended up taking a torp. So, that was insane, guys. 212,000 damage. Freaking crazy game. I'm really liking this ship. It's really strong in high tiers too, especially if you get to show off the AA. It's amazing. Um, this line has been a blast, especially like tier six and up. The The hardest part of this line is getting to the fun ships, which is tier six. So it's one of those lines that there's hurdle ships. It just seems to be the really like all the low tier ships. So trust me guys, get to at least tier six. The Fiji was amazing. The Edinburgh was really, really fun and the Neptune I'm loving. So um get to those ships guys you'll have a blast trust me but that is it guys hope you guys enjoyed this video hope like kind of like the how-to on maybe how to play this ship and the potential of this ship but i mean look at that insane damage insane credits insane everything but that is it for me guys with the neptune the tier 9 royal navy cruiser it's a blast and uh good luck out there guys remember like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time